Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be revamping this purple chrome set. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to film the actual set that's on right now. Um, but yeah, it's basically just chrome with, well, pink purple from Madame Glam with the silver chrome over the top. It looks absolutely stunning. Um, so this is after three weeks, I think possibly four. Um, my client, as you can see, has bitten around the cuticles and also ripped one off, which is not okay. So today I'm gonna go ahead and do a new design, freshen them up, infill, tidy up the shape, and we will look brand spanking new. Um, don't forget guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that now. You can just do that by pressing on the subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate that. Also, if you want to go ahead and pop over to my Instagram at Ninja Fairy Official, go and follow me and there, I mean, it will be totally awesome. Anyway, so I have started off by sanitising mine and my client's hands and I'm going in now with this drill bit from Todak USA and just removing that gel design. On this ring finger here, it is actually a glitter encapsulated design, so it's all acrylic. I just file that right back down to the clear layer underneath that is protecting the nail. Um, so I hope you guys are all okay and getting excited for Christmas. I cannot wait for Christmas. I am so, so excited guys. So excited. Yeah, you know. Got a little elf on the shelf coming to like get up to some mischief, which is freaking awesome. Yeah, I really love this drill bit. It's so good at taking off gel polish and also taking down the acrylic. I think I'm going to do a separate video on um, what drill I use because a lot of people ask that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, a lot of people do ask me that. And instead of having to answer every single question, email, all this and that, I think I'm going to do a video just on what nail drill that I use and ones that I've used previously and just my thoughts about that. Um, yeah so moving on now that I have removed everything I skipped the infill part just because it was only a clear infill um, and this design I just wanted to show you the application of the gel polish and the chrome because it was freaking awesome. This pink is worn by Madame Glam and I can't quite remember which one it is but it, just any nice like baby pink will do. Um, so I'm just, I've already applied one coat and cured and now I'm going in with the second coat and I'm making sure that we have covered everything nicely. Um, the ones that I am going to be putting the chrome powder on I do go ahead and apply the top coat and the ones that I'm going to be putting glitter on I leave the tacky layer because that's where I like to put the glitter I just buff it or burnish it into that tacky layer now sometimes with the Madame Glam gel polishes they don't leave like a sticky residue so I find that if that is the case not all of them do it but just some of them you just go ahead and apply some base coat over the top and then cure that for 30 seconds and voila you have got your sticky sticky base just a little tip there if you were struggling at all now whilst I'm filming this video, if you've watched my previous ones, you will know that I burnt my face. Um, my face is like pretty much almost back to normal. I probably will be able to wear makeup tomorrow, which is going to be freaking awesome. I have so much stuff to buy. To buy? I mean, I have so much stuff to try that I got from the Freedom Awards and just new products and stuff that I really want to dig into. So it's about freaking time. So when you're doing your gel polish don't forget to be capping those free edges just to reduce any lifting or peeling and as you can see here left the tack and layer on and I'm just dabbing that glitter in and then brushing it off and when you burnish it like this it sort of lays it all flat so it gives a different effect to if it was just sprinkled on top. With this one I'm going in with just a baby pink iridescent glitter so the other one was white this one is pink just to create a few different shades of glitter my client just said she wants pink chrome glitter and just cuteness so that 
is what we did. Went for a few different colour of pink, like, and silveries, and just prettiness, basically. So here I'm applying the chrome powder, and I'm using this makeup sponge. Now, I didn't actually find that it was this time anyway. I've used the makeup sponge before and it's been absolutely fine, but this particular time it wasn't really going on too well. So you will see that I do switch over to the eyeshadow applicator to apply the chrome. I just felt that it gave a much smoother finish. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell that on screen when I switch over or not, or like on the next hand, you will see, I mean, I definitely saw a difference, so hopefully you guys will, but it's whatever works for the colour that you're using and just whatever preference you like prefer, what kind of finish you're looking for, just go with the flow guys, everything is art and everything is beautiful, okay? I'm just going to take a sip of my tea before it goes cold. Um, it's very rare lately, well not lately, just since you have children, it's very rare, very rare that you actually get a nice hot cup of tea, so if you guys haven't got kids yet, please treasure those hot cup of teas because they're going to be gone, okay? And I actually love tea, I'm literally addicted to it, so it is a very sad, sad story. Anyway. See, as you can see here, it's going on so much smoother, like, literally like butter. And a lot of people on my Instagram, well, not a lot of people, you always get one, like, snotty person being an arsehole, commenting on cuticles and, ugh, needs a manicure. And I'm just like, seriously, shut the front door, man. I mean... In some countries you're not allowed to cut the skin around the cuticle. In the UK I'm pretty sure you can do whatever you want but for my personal choice I do not want to cut anything off anybody. Do you know what I mean? Like seriously I'm not doing it. If somebody comes to me and asks me I'll just say I don't do that unfortunately and they either stay or go. I'm not bothered. I'm just not doing it. So they can stick the snidey comments up their asses okay? Um, I won't be cutting any cuticles or any skin or anything anytime soon. Um, especially when, like, oh, I'm just doing the top coat, guys. Just top coating. And on the glitter ones, I have a separate one for the glitter. And then for the chrome ones, I use that chrome top coat from, you know what, I'll leave my chrome nail video down below and you'll be able to go and see. Oh, in fact, I didn't put it in that one. I'll just leave it down below so you can see which chrome top coat I use. I do find that it's a lot better. The chrome doesn't chip at all, really, I don't think, with this chrome top coat. Anyway, um, yeah, I was just saying about the cut in the cuticles. Someone actually got, was it either AIDS or HIV from cutting the cuticles, like shared unclean stuff. I mean, I suppose that's unclean. I mean, I do clean everything, so, but still, I just don't have the balls to be cutting someone's finger. I really don't. Moving on. We are gonna, obviously, do some more chrome. So this is, like, completely starting with the eyeshadow applicator. Can you see how well that goes on compared to the sponge? Like, so much better. Obviously, I'm gonna have a lot of makeup videos coming up, like, with the freedom stuff, and just generally, I want to get more of myself like in front of the camera I really enjoy being in front of the camera and speaking to you guys and just whatever um, so I'm just gonna be having like a mix of different videos I know I do have quite a big mix anyway but as soon as my face is better guys you better be ready you better be ready <laughs> Um, this video is, I won't say it's long, but yeah, I just kept, I think it's in the reg, yeah, it's just regular motion, you know, we haven't speeded it up, we haven't slowed it down, uh, I'm going to do that with probably all of my videos, I'll just probably skip through like removing the design, because I'm sure you don't want to sit there for half an hour watching me file off a design, really, um, so I'll probably skip through that bit. Not skip, but just speed that bit up like I did at the beginning of this one, and then the rest of the video will be um, just regular motion. I will obviously crop bits out that are not necessary. So here I'm going in with that chrome top coat, which is the Balm Dark Calm, and just making sure that I apply a nice thick layer covering the whole entire nail and chrominess. 
and that just cures I, I i think it might be 30 seconds but i do cure it for 60 just put it on the safe side and this is the final result guys so i hadn't put oil on there i don't think i don't know but yeah this is the final result i couldn't really capture the chromeness as well as i have been on other colors i think maybe because it was so light the color underneath i don't know i think it just varies with what color you have underneath um, so it's definitely nice to experiment with different types of chrome colours and finishes and looks and yeah I really hope that you enjoyed this video I hope I'm not like talking too much because dame I just talked for like 10 minutes plus and that is like yeah anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one bye oh don't forget to share this video as well if you enjoyed it thank you